Christmas is my favorite time of the year and I love to decorate my house. My decorations are not elaborate. Most of them are old. A lot of them I've used since the very day that I was married. Some of them are from my childhood and Granny was kind enough to gift them to me once I did get married or over the years when I was decorating my house and she saw how much it pleased me. She would let me have some of her, her things that I always loved when I was a child. A lot of them were made by Granny. Some of them were made by the girls when they were in school. Some of them were made by me. Others I picked up over the years at different places like clearance after Christmas or yard sales. Mr. Uh, if you can see Santa over there, he, I picked him up at a yard sale one time in Canton years ago and ever since then he's been part of my Christmas decorations and I love pulling that stuff out every year and remembering the ones that are tied symbolically to a memory. I love thinking about them every year. That's just part of Christmas is nostalgia. Uh, for times gone by and you know happy times with your family those kind of things but today I thought I'd share just a few of my favorite ones with you so one of them the first one is really kind of funny if you can see it it's a spark plug out of a um, Chevrolet truck to be exact an 84 Chevrolet truck that was what the deer hunter uh, my husband Matt what he drove when we were courting when we were courting and then even after we got married uh, him and pap drove it for a work truck but one year when we'd first moved into this house when we were first married and we didn't have many decorations and you know we were just starting out but he thought it would be funny i guess he was changing his spark plugs in the truck is what made him think of it he thought he'd, it would be really funny if he put this on the tree and that i would notice it it would be like a joke well i did notice it but the joke was on him because once i noticed it i loved it i loved that he thought about doing that you know so every year since then the spark plug from the 84 chevrolet truck has been on our christmas tree so that's just a one it's just it just still tickles me when i think about him trying to pull a good one on me but then uh turned out that i really liked it so i kept it another one uh is this little train i think you can see it maybe i'll unhook the little caboose there granny and pap uh, granny always was creative and always trying to make things and i guess that's where i got my love of making things i like to make stuff too and be creative but one year she wanted to make Christmas trains and she convinced Pap to help her. So they cut out all these little pieces out of dowels and different things. You can see on the wheels, Granny's uh, glued a uh, rickrack there for, to make the, the uh, tires. And she's put little holly, glued this little guy on top. And she made a whole bunch of them. Over the years, I've lost the presents and the stuff that come out of them. I usually put candy in that one. But she made them, and I think she sold them to people for like $20 or something that year. But I ended up with one of them, and that's one of my favorite things because I can remember her and Pap in the basement working on them for, you know, uh, over a period of time. And I was jealous. I wanted to be right in the middle of them working. So they would give me something that I could work on off by myself so that they could finish the trains. And, and this is one of the, I made two of these, and this is one of the ones that I made that day that they were making the train. So I've got, I've wrapped a little block of wood in cloth like it was a present. And then I put the little weird Santas, who knows where I got them. And then I put the ribbon on the front. I didn't even go around all the back. But that's just one of my favorite uh, Christmas decorations. It's not that it's attractive that much, but for me, it just brings back those memories of that special day with me and Pap and Granny working in the basement when they let me be part of the, part of the creative process. This is one that I made... Um, probably about five years ago or something. It's actually a, a little box, but I especially, so I, I just love to do that. Sometimes I make Christmas cards um, out of cra out of uh, collage materials, kind of like this at Christmas. So it's just something I really enjoy. But, oh, and I could show you. One year I got into, I made these uh, angels. So if you look underneath, this one's neat. These are like, Granny worked at a dress factory for a lot of years and she would get extra cloth and uh, also spools of thread that they didn't want anymore. Maybe the spool had just a tiny mitt, but it was a, it's a plastic spool. That's the shape underneath there. I've got it covered with um, ribbon. But that made the perfect, anyway, Granny had those and over the years we'd craft with them. We'd make wreaths, we'd do different things. And so a couple of years ago, when I was decided I was going to make these dolls, I drew their face on and then I made them. This one's holding a little Christmas tree and a wreath and got her a little necklace there. Um, I, Granny let me have a lot of those spools that she still had. So that was the perfect thing. This one actually, 
that is the top to a snuff can. So that made the perfect uh, little base for her to sit on. I think her dress is actually a, a, a vintage handkerchief. I had a collection of handkerchiefs, so that's where that come from. Anyway, that's more of one of my more recent ones that I've made. Um, I've not crafted any this year. Last year I made Christmas cards, and probably the year before that I didn't do anything either. Life just gets too busy. Anyway, but um, also I like to wanted to share with you my favorite Christmas tradition from Appalachia. Now, I've got a video where I talked about some others, and I'll link that for you if you've not seen it. But my very favorite one I forgot to put in that video, so today I wanted to make sure that I shared it with you. And it's Christmas gift. So when I was growing up, Granny, and it would annoy me because I always worried about her uh, waking somebody up or making somebody mad. And as an adult, I realized it was all part of the fun. But her family, the Jenkins family, she was a Jenkins, they would, every Christmas, they had like almost a contest Christmas morning on who could say Christmas gift first. Well, it started about 5 a.m. that morning with Granny usually trying to be the first one. She always wanted to be the best. And she would call her sisters and say, Christmas gift, as soon as they answered the phone. Well, I just thought it was kind of silly. I mean, I just thought it was, I frowned upon it, I guess, it's because I just thought it was, oh, you know, in my teenage worldliness, I just thought that was so silly. But I got to notice them when we go to Granny Gazzy's, Granny's mother's house on Christmas e uh, Day for dinner. We go out there for Christmas dinner. Every, and lots of people would stop by and, you know, come in for a while, and then they would leave. But everybody that come in the door, somebody would yell Christmas gift at them. Or either they would say Christmas gift, you know, whichever. So I just thought that was Granny's unique family, and I never thought really much about it. But once I started researching Appalachia further, I realized, no, that's a thing. Lots of people in Appalachia do that. It's like an old, um, and I don't know how old, I would say probably back to the 1800s. Like, um, and I think originally maybe you really did gift the person with something, but over time it become just a way, just a game. It's just a game to see who can say Christmas gift first. Well, like I said, when I was a teenager, I kind of thought it was silly or not cool or whatever. Uh, but these days, on Christmas morning, uh, the past few years, I've got Granny. As soon as I get up, I call her and I say, Christmas gift! And every time she'll say, well, you got me this time, didn't you? So, I don't know what I'll do when Granny's gone. I don't like to think about it, but I expect that I'll call Steve or Paul one, whether they like it or not, and I'll be yelling Christmas gift at them. Thanks for listening to me talk today about Christmas and about um, my favorite ornaments, about my favorite Appalachian tradition. And if you've ever heard people say Christmas gift or you know about that tradition, I hope that you'll leave a comment and tell me about it. Mostly I just hope, though, that you'll drop back by often as I celebrate Appalachia.